to baby Jesus. <laughs> Apparently you're getting uh, Donald Trump in the background, don't worry about that. Where's the baby Jesus? Uh, so today we're going to be conducting your interview. My name is David, I'm a, I'm an administration for the server, and with me is going to be an assistant. He is getting his certifications to do interviews for the staff team. Uh, I'm sorry to say I don't I'm fucking hyper right now, I got fucking energy drinks. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> yes. I didn't mean you. I meant the fucking person that we're interviewing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like what? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh. So to begin. <laughs> to begin... <laughs> you might want to mute him so you can actually speak. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, so to start off with, what's your definition of fail RP? Uh, fail RP is like if, um, I swear to God. You ping me one more time, you're gonna get blocked, pal. Please, please stop pinging him, he's trying to conduct an interview. Um, FRP is, uh, saying that someone's driving, um, and get in a car crash and you just continue driving that's frp you don't continue up through the scene you could have got killed could have got injured um if it's fail role play you just continue driving okay perfect uh are you ready for the next question yeah Sorry to interrupt, can I show the Discord stuff? Huh? After that? This is an interview. No, after the interview, like, should, should I show the Discord stuff? <sighs> yes, there is a staff training afterwards, yes. Alright, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, I was saying if you were a trainer, because I was going to ask. Yeah, there will be a staff training afterwards. Uh, what's your definition of VDM? VDM is whenever someone in a vehicle runs over people that is not in a vehicle and kills them. Okay, what's a RDM? Vehicle. RDM is random player deathmatch. Dead player just kills somebody for no reason. Kills a lot of people for no reason. Uh, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Uh, what's your definition of metagaming? Metagaming is when... No, 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 no. Oh, you almost said it? <laughs> mm, it's whenever you're on two servers at once, I'm pretty sure. I think. Huh? I think. I'm sorry. It's whenever you're playing on two servers at once, correct? I think. Uh, metagaming is using in-game resource, uh, in-game or out-of-game resources to better your RP, such as requesting somebody to come pick you up after you've been taken down by officers, or using split uh, streaming streams to better oh, your RP. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yeah, that I remember now. Okay. Like, whenever you die, and you come back as that same character 20 seconds later, you know? Yeah, just okay. basically, it's just no new life stuff, and just coming back to, uh, basically try to better that scene so you can cool. win. Also, uh, no attempt to RP. That's kind of basically half of it. Okay, perfect. Uh, ready for the next question? Yeah. What would you do if your friend was a staff member and he began to invite people to his, uh, Elio server? Bring it up to higher house immediately. I don't care if it was my friend or not, I ain't getting in trouble for that shit. Okay, perfect. Uh, what would you do if there was a staff member GTA driving in the server as a staff member, unless you're in a, unless you're investigation staff plus, you cannot conduct any form of punishment on another staff member, 
only uh, non-staff members you can conduct punishments, what would you do? Um, I would either DM or contact another higher up, higher than said staff member, and let them know what, it, uh, what happened, provide clips and everything. So yeah, perfect. You just make a ticket and management plus will deal with it, or in a, uh, an investigation style, which I don't think is a thing yet. Uh, ready for the next question? Yeah. Uh, who can do Hitman slash Animal RP? Owners. Management plus, I'm guessing? Mm. So, sorry? Management plus? No, it's gonna be a certified civilian three plus and diamond donator plus. Okay. Uh, ready for the next question? Yes, sir. Uh, what would you do if you're? What would you do if you're on the server and somebody started using racial slurs to, uh, you know, offend people? If he was harassing and using it in a non-RP of way, or with... Just in general, just using yeah, it for the shits and okay. gigs. Just okay, then, I would either give the uh, Z player a warning, um, if it continues, kick, or Z ban. Uh, I will let Depending you know on how long that as of a staff member, once you become one, you can perform bans, like permo bans, uh, regular bans. And kicks okay. and warrants, so based. So you can, yeah. So what would you, what would you do in that sense, knowing that you can properly deal with it? Sorry, what would you do now that you know that you can deal with this appropriately? What would you do if there was somebody spamming racial slurs in chat, in like the GTA uh, chat? Oh, in the GTA immediate ban. Okay, how long? Uh, we go two to three days. Okay, perfect. Uh, what would you do if there was a member advertising his server in the dis in the Discord or uh, game? Um, actually in game because we actually can't. In game, I would uh, TP to Z player and let them know that can't promote within server and proceed to let him know that if he continues to do so I would just kick him from game so that's gonna be a permanent ban from this oh from, that's gonna be a permanent ban from in game and the discord as it's against TOS for discord or whatever that fancy word is you're not allowed uh, to advertise your server without paying or like inter like inviting your friends that you know so yeah, which I don't even think you can pay to donate to advertise your server. Basically, not using appropriate ways. It's against Discord's to us, and yeah, and our server rules. So it's a perma ban. Okay, that's uh, fun. What would you do if you're conducting a staff scene with another member and somebody else goes out of their way to try to mess with you and just disrespect you while you're trying to conduct your regular duties? completely ignore them and if I have to take the player that I am conducting staff scene with to a different location if it gets to the point I will just remove said player from our position I love me personally I love to grab them and take them to the other side of the map um, that's just me but if it does get too far I'll just kick them yeah, any staff saying it should be conducted off of the off of the road. You'll see too many incidents where all of our staff will just conduct it in the middle of the road or on the side of the road. I think you should go up to Mountain Chiliet and teleport yeah. them to you, as it's a lot more appropriate. Or anywhere I where agree. it's not regular public. I agree. Okay, ready for the next question. Mm -hmm. What would you do if you're on the server and there's no calls or anything going out and you're just clocked in as a staff member? I'd probably just clock off until somebody got on. Okay. 
I mean, that that's understandable. We as staff members, whether you're civilian or LEO, you can clock in as that and be clocked in 24/7. Yeah. You can, you can also cut. within within this server we were able to be LEO and yeah and be be staff. But if you were on a civilian, you were not able to be on a staff at all, or else you'd get terminated from it. That's weird. No, no matter what department you're part of, some departments, like example, civilian and FAA, you can be a part of be clocked into both of those and then staff too maybe i'm not sure but so long as you're doing the duties of each department while on duty then you're good to go so like staff you're gonna break off as soon as possible to deal with anything that happens that's the disappointing part about being able to clock in fully you have to pretty much break your scene and go deal with it if it happened in front of you yeah if you're only conducting staff duties you hop in the radio and you can turn on like your miss settings and see names and all that good stuff which helps and that's the only way that you can respond to staff reports and stuff like that sorry not staff reports um member reports uh ready for the next question yes sir uh what would you do if there was a popular streamer on the server. Still RP? I mean, I act like it was still going on as a normal role-playing day. Okay, perfect. So yeah, you're just basically, they're gonna have their own staff team. You don't really need to spectate them. You can just go off and do your own thing, but I think they do. I'm not 100% sure. And yet again, if Emerald sues anything, he normally instantly deals with it anyways. So there's really no point of like watching over unless yeah, when they're going to do a... Speaking of him, he's literally in his office as we speak. Exactly, like... Oh, my brain just brokey. Uh, well, I gotta tell this person to clock out. Uh, this is the person I need to talk to to fix my rules. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, do you understand that if you become a staff member, you cannot punish or kick any other staff member so long as you are not the whole, the, the, not the rank of management plus? Yeah. I do indeed. Uh, do you understand that you may be on prob probation for two weeks and may not get a promotion, but it's not guaranteed? Yeah. So, uh, as a trial mo moderator, you only do not have access to Noclip, as if you did, it could cause a lot more issues, so you just gotta prove that you're worthy of it. But you have access to kick, ban, punish, and warn, and permaban, anybody dependent on certain punishments. Yet again, we'll go over that in training. Uh, with that being said, would you like to become a staff member today? Of course. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get you set up for that process. Not too 